So this is my computer science NEA coding project. I created a dungeon crawler based on Egyptian mythology called Horus's Fury. Um, these here are the menus. So once you launch the EXE, you're met with the logo screen. Here you can click continue and it takes you to the username screen. You can go back to the logo screen and if you try to continue without entering a username, you get an error message. But if you do enter the username, you get taken to the main menu. Here you can go to settings, see objectives, controls, turn the music off and then you can play or quit. So this is level one. Once you click play, you'll, you see the objectives again and the controls. In the top left, there's the score. Top right, there's a timer that keeps ticking up. Bottom right is your ammo count and bottom left is your HP. It's WASD to move, spacebar to dash, R to reload, and then click the mouse to shoot. And that's level one, just as an example. I'll show the full uh, gameplay at the end. This is how I actually created the maps. I thought I'd include this. This is using the tile set I drew in A-Sprite, and this is an application called Tiled. With this, um, once you import the tile size, so this was 64 by 64, I think, um, you can just drag and drop each tile, and it makes creating the levels really easy. And so this is a process I went through for all 10 levels and the bonus level as well. Uh, I actually export this file as a CSV, and then Using my tile set um, class and my tile map class, I assign each tile a value and a texture, and that's how the map is used in the game. And some of the blocks, when I do pass them in, I um, specify them as a block tile, such as the water or the walls, and this means that the player can't just walk off the map or walk on the water. I had um, two main theme color themes for the levels. I had a more warm purple theme and then a cool blue-toned purple theme. Uh, the second one's more like grassy focus. Either way, I thought it'd be fun to have some variety because um, when I took interviews for the game, some people actually suggested maybe having multiple levels. So I thought it'd be good to include that. So, yep, this is just a time lapse of me creating two example levels. Neither of these are actually in the game, but they very well could have been. Okay, next I'm going to go over all of the main objectives for the game. So starting off with killing the enemies. As you shoot them, their HP incrementally goes down and once it's zero, they're blit off the screen. Here's the collecting coins. As you pick coins up, it goes up. Your score goes up by 10, I think it was. Here is healing, so if you take damage, which you can see on the screen here, you can open a chest and once you pick up the heart, you're healed for 50. So this is the key function. Once you kill all enemies, a key is split onto the screen, and once you take that, you can proceed to the next level. But you don't have to pick it up instantly, which gives you time to maybe collect some coins, get some HP, look around the map a little bit. These are two examples. So you take the key, next level. Now this is what happens if you do get killed. Say you get cornered, your HP depletes to zero. Uh, which often happens. You get the game over screen, and then once you click any key, you're taken to the high scores table, which is sorted by um, score. And it has your time, your level, and everything. This is the bonus level, so if you do manage to get through all 10 levels without dying, you're taken to a secret 11th level, which you can see here. You just need to kill two enemies, and then key is split. Uh, it's in the shape of a heart, and it says GG, because I thought it'd be a nice surprise to anyone who does make it to the end. But if you take the key, again, high scores table. And now here is um, uninterrupted uh, gameplay of the whole game, all 10 levels, including the bonus 11th. So if you want to just see the game uninterrupted, here's what playthrough looks like. Some people have done it faster. This isn't the most uh, speedy, it was three minutes. And I think the fastest I've seen is what, one minute 40 or something? So you can be pretty speedy with it, but that's the whole game. All right, bye.